Hello everyone, so uh, today we are going to solve this error invalid default value for update. How can you get this error? So you you have your table customer and you want to add another field that is update date after adding create create date. So let's look at the structure. So you have create date, you want to add update date, uh, update date. So after create date, you want to add one field that is update date, and you say put it update date right there, put a timestamp like T timestamp, and uh, an update date has an attribute that is on update current stamp timestamp, and when you want to save, you get this error. So how can you solve this error? Simply go to your table, uh, make sure that you export this table clearly. So click export here, click export this table. After exporting the table, click go. Uh, uh, okay, click this button go and you will see your table right here. Let's click together. Okay, we have seen your table, it's here. So go directly to your table, open it. If you have any editor, maybe Visual Studio Code, I recommend a Visual Studio Code. Open it with Visual Studio Code. And uh, you want to add a current, uh, an update date. Okay, you want to add an update date in, inside this table. And that is how you get an error. So how to go about adding an update date without getting any error. So take this update date. Okay. Put a comma right there. Put it right there. Okay. So if you want uh, simply how, how, how to get this code you ask where can where have I get this code? You can just copy this code here, okay, and put it right there, and write it an update. You can write it update date, update date, okay. But an update date has another attribute that is on update current timestamp, okay. So timestamp not null default current timestamp, but on update you had this code. You can write it on update current timestamp. Okay, take this update date, copy, put it right there. Put a comma, you put it right there. Okay. After doing that, in inside the insert two insert the value for update date like this you can copy it uh, up until the comma and put it right there put a comma and date also you can put a comma and date with time so save this uh-huh everything is it looks right everything looks right right so our table is called customer2 and we have located it in inside downloads let's go inside downloads uh, or let's go inside our database make sure that this table is the one that brings an error drop that table that brings an error and import another table and that is the edited table okay so let's go to the edited table my table called customer2, open it, and go. It is imported inside your test database, you see? Make sure you see your database that you want to import that table. And let's go inside the customer and voila, you see? Like the update date is now added. So the update date is now added without any problem. And it has current timestamp, time 
and an attribute that is on update current timestamp. So this is how you can solve this kind of error. Okay, this is how you can solve that type of error. So uh, another thing that we are going to solve is that you you find out there is large IDs here. Okay, like uh, it is that uh, here we start from one, two, and it keep going three and and and, and four and it keeps incrementing like that, but another tables you find out uh, it started from a thousand, a thousand and two thousand and three. Also about that and going starting from one, two and and three and keep going. So we'll solve it uh, in the next video. Stay tuned. We are going going to learn a lot about database and SQLs, how to go about dealing with database. So thank you, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next one.